good afternoon, everybody. Um, posting this a little bit late because we already uh, arrived at our destination. We're in Mill Creek State Park today, just outside of Farron, Utah. And the reason why I decided to book this was, well, there's a nice little reservoir back there. It's a beautiful blue green color, which is normally right up here to where the picnic table is. But because everything out here is uh, drying up, that also is drying up. So we're going to make the best of it. We're here for three days. Uh, take it back four days, three nights. It's actually a pretty nice campground. We're right next to the bathhouse over there. Nice and convenient. And uh, I've been doing a little uh, repair job here. We had to rotate the tires on the Jeep. They're way overdue. I think I've put probably about, I don't know, close to 13,000 miles on them since they were last rotated. So aside from that, everything's good. It's nice and quiet and peaceful out here. Looking forward to the next uh, four days. Then we're moving on to the area of Beaver, Utah for a couple of nights. And then we should be uh, in Moab as scheduled on the 25th of April. See you guys. During our time in Millside State Park, we just took advantage of the downtime. There are no real mountain biking trails in the area, so I had to make my own. <laughs> and because of the low lake levels, we were not able to take the kayak out. We took the dogs with us one day to explore the general area found a short hiking trail, and then found some off-road trails that took us up into the mountains. My original plan was to hook up with Skyline Drive, which is at the top of this mountain, but unfortunately, like everything else, it was closed down for the season. All right, so we just arrived at our <laughs> destination, we think, and, uh, so we had no idea where this place was. We saw it on the map, but we had no idea how to get down to it. So now, we know it's paved. It's over that way. <laughs> oh, gee whiz. <laughs> All right, so we just arrived at our little condo we're staying at just for a couple of nights before we head off to Moab. And, uh, Needless to say, it's been quite an experience. <laughs> we uh, managed to find it only after checking out that uh, sketchy downhill. There's no sign up there that shows where to go. There's a stop sign, but it's down. So we had to drive down here. I had to scout it first to make sure that there was a, a driveway underneath there. Because as you can see, they got a shit ton of snow but uh yeah it was it was interesting to say the least but we're the only ones here we got the place all to ourselves as always with everything it seems and uh we got a lot of snow so much so that you can't even go out the back so there's the back of the condos and they got quite a quite a dumping probably last night or the night before it was there was a bad storm that rolled through so anyway i'm gonna straighten everything up back the uh trailer in somewhere and we're gonna be in for the next couple of days so see ya let's do riley's first time in the snow True to form, one day we were in 70 degree weather, and the next day we were up in 40 degree weather. This is the Eagle Point Ski Resort area just outside of Beaver, Utah. We arrived here in the off season, so naturally there was absolutely no one present when we arrived. 
we had the entire condo complex all to ourselves. There are absolutely no services up in this area, so make sure you stock up on food and everything else that you need before coming up here. We stayed up here for several days and didn't have the need to go anywhere. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> you could stab somebody and kill them with that thing. Holy shit! <laughs> that didn't work out well. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Seriously, it's like a javelin. Dang, that's a huge icicle. Man. I can use it as a cane. Yeah, you could. Look at that. That is too cool, though. Oops. Might have a little bit of asphalt for the shingle on there. <laughs> no, it's really good, actually. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Here, have some. I'll share my icicle with you. Charmaine wants to make a snow angel. She's been wanting, she's been bugging me for months and months and months about making a snow angel. So guess what? I made a specific trip to an area where I knew there was going to be snow just so she could do this. Okay. My cute angel. <laughs> there it is. Sound right. It looks pretty good. A little higher on the left arm. I'm not a perfectionist. <laughs> that looks good. Does it? I gotta get up. Love it. And it's 31 degrees up here, up. and it's warm. I don't even need this jacket or this hat. No. But uh, it is beautiful. We're the only ones that walked on the snow today. Not even critters were walking on this yeah. snow today. Let's get our footprints. Actually, let me do it. We had an amazing time playing in the snow here and so did the dogs, but we were looking forward to heading to Moab to go visit our kids.